What's up guys? This is What's My Game and thank you so much for watching. Please mash that like button for me. It really helps and I really appreciate it. If you find this video useful, please do that for me and subscribe if you haven't already. We're playing Metal Gear Solid 5 and this is how to get a female protagonist or how to play as a female. If you don't have uh, a good one already, uh, in the game I mean, here's how to get a better one or to get uh, the first female so that you can play as a female character. So you want to use mission number nine. Um, I forgot the name of it already. Well, there it is. Back up, back down. Mission number nine is, or episode number nine is repeatable. Unlike the side quest Prisoner Extraction 2 that some have suggested, that's not a good method. You cannot re repeat side quests until you've beaten the game. So most people watching uh, have not beaten the game. The game's only a week old and it's hundreds of hours long. Maybe not for the main mission or main game, but Anyway, so if you need a, a, a female, uh, this is the best method to do it. I'm going to slow down the game here real quick and show you. It's at Wack Sind Barracks. I probably pronounced that wrong. I'm sure I did. In Afghanistan. And uh, once you start number nine, uh, it'll take you to the right place. But just make sure you land at that spot closest to the barracks. Um, you can take a couple different routes. You can go really wide to the left, which is what I recommend. A little bit different from what I did here. Um... The only I, I'll sh I end up going to the same spot. Um, the the moral of the story is to go in stealthily and come out stealthily, if that makes sense. So in other words, don't get spotted or alerted by guards, and uh, then your game will auto save. Um, that's I didn't know that at this point. I was still messing around with the auto save feature and trying to figure all that out on this mission for you guys. Um, but uh, I ended up getting the rocket launcher because I thought I was going to have to blow up the vehicle. If you unsuccessfully um, well, I, I guess you've unsuccessfully stealth, and if you get caught, you're going to have to complete this mission mission in, other, uh, in order for it to save. So, this mission is actually pretty easy to complete. All you have to do is blow up one of the vehicles that they've shown on the map for you. So, it's not all that hard. Um, if you come this direction or just start, you know, start going left right when you get off the, uh, the helicopter, there's a, a crack over here that's really helpful, and it lets you avoid most of the base. Uh, and most of the guards instead of going right through the front door. So you could have just head this way and not even take out that guard. I just I think I got a little bit off track. So here's the crack right here. And by cracky, that's a great way to great way to get in. And there's all, they're actually in the game spread out pretty decently, and they're really helpful uh, as a side tip. So uh, look for those little crack icons on your map. Um, you don't have you don't have to take these guys out. You can sneak by them, do whatever you want to do. Um, but Again, I'll say it again. If you if you don't complete this part in stealth, you'll have to complete the mission, or you'll lose the prisoner and any other items that you kept. The prisoner is always in this room, and sometimes you have to unlock it, and sometimes you don't. And she's always a she. <laughs> so uh, this is basically virtually guaranteed, I guess, uh, to get you a female. I'm certainly not the developer of the game, but in the five or six times I did this to try to perfect it for you guys, uh, it was always female. And just right there, I got caught like an idiot. So at this point, I was they alerted, and if I run out, run away from this area too far, it still won't autosave, which sucks. So basically, I just need to go uh, kill a, a, a vehicle, and then I'll still complete the mission. So I still got her, but it just took longer, so I edited it out. Here's the front door method. Uh, again, I had to do this three or four times, maybe, no, maybe like I said, four or five times at least, uh, to get... Uh, a better female, <laughs> a better female uh, in the game, of course, because if uh, you don't find the woman of your dreams uh, in the first try, well, like they say, if you first you don't succeed, try, try again. So um, you, you're going to need to uh, come back and uh, do this again to probably get a little bit better character. And what you're looking for, if you want to use her for your um, your protagonist uh, or your main character or whatever then you'll want somebody with a high combat rating. Um, it will level up over time. It's just nicer to start higher to begin with, of course. And uh, as you level up, you'll get more um, health. She's always here, like I said. Um, I'm not even sure this is the one I kept either. I just slammed her <laughs> head against the doorway. So uh, you just throw her ass out and then fold her butt up there. And uh, there she goes. And so, again, if you want to check you know how good she is and then just abort the mission then you're welcome to do that however you like to do it um, I went ahead and completed the mission so I could get 
you know, uh, whatever you get from it. But uh, here's the first lady I got, uh, Ashen. And she's cool and all, but uh, she's a drug developer, which is awesome. It was a skill I didn't have, but she's only a C-level combat rating. So that's why I kept playing. Oh, as an aside, if you want to use the walker, uh, he's, he pretty much hauls ass if you have the update, so it's nice to use him. Here's the chick I ended up with, Stalking Swan. She's a cybernetic specialist, which I needed anyway, which is awesome. And she's got a B level. The problem here is the character menu, when you select a mission, only shows the top 60 or 61 characters. I can't remember which. So if she's not in your top 60, then she's not going to show up as an option to select for a mission. So here's how to fix that. Okay, And this is important. Nobody, show, nobody I've seen shows you how to do this. Um, so what you need to do is go to your combat unit okay the combat unit specifically and that way you can organize it in descending order um, you can see she's down here toward the bottom and there's a, a bunch of other people above her um, there's 80 people in this menu so you're gonna need I would need to get rid of, rid of about 15 people or so um, I mistakenly um, took that took away the people that were below her and I just send them to the waiting room that's not gonna help you you have to make sure you get rid of the guys on top of her which is what I'm doing right now I just sped it up so dismiss them. Just don't dismiss them. Send them to the waiting room. Um, that way you're not getting rid of those guys. They're just going to the waiting room. You can put them right back. But once you have her in the top 60, which means you know you only have 60 people in that unit, she'll show up. And I got rid of way more than I needed to because she's high up on the list here. But there she is, Stalking Swan. So that's, a, that's something that I haven't seen anybody else explain. And also... You can't use the, you can't replay the, you know, prisoner extraction number two because it's a side quest until you've beaten the game. So that's not really helpful either. So here she is in all her glory. And if you want to play as a female, uh, mission number nine is the best way to go. And then if she doesn't end up being a top 60 uh, combat uh, member of yours, and if you have a more than I, more than 60 like I do, then you're just going to have to put pe put guys above her in the waiting room. And then once you select her, you can put those guys back in. So that's it. I um, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Now you can play her. She'll show up. With, she can wear all the weapons. She can wear all the armor. Uh, she even has headgear that she comes with, which is really cool. So again, please mash that like button if you found this helpful. I really appreciate all you guys' support. If you have anything specific you want to see, let me know. I was out of town for three or four days at the beach for Labor Day, but now I'm back, and I'll be covering Mad Max and Metal Gear Solid some more. Have a fantastic day. This is What's My Game. See you.